Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. Today I'm in a bit of a strange place and it's a knowledge video about whiskey production. And the video is about the mash tun because I am in a mash tun. The mash tun is here at Tomatin and it's pretty nice because you can actually enter the mash tun and see um, how a mash tun works from the inside and it's just an amazing place. Though. I always wanted to be in one, but um, yeah, nowadays no, I can see one from the inside. This is an old mash tun, which they used to have when they have really, really big production. And now it's decommissioned and it's an old cast iron mash tun um, with a semi lauder system in it. So let's start from the beginning. You have the grist and you have 65, 67 degrees water in a usual mash tun and is being inserted here. It has a, like a screwdriver and that, that pumps it in. It's very, very liquid, so it spreads out evenly in the whole mash tun. And yeah, the whole, the whole goal of the, the mashing is to get all the sugar, most of the sugar out and a bit of the leftover starches as well. And how they do it is they just turn it around and mix it at a hot temperature of 65 degrees Celsius. And if you have a semi lauder ton, it just turns. If you have a full lauder ton, it just goes up and down as well. So, but semi lauder is kind of the industry standard. I've not seen many distilleries with full lauder tons. So um, they go round and round. And at a certain point of time, after a few hours, then you have um, you have dissolved as much sugar as possible and that is kind of what they have as a as a yeah a yield of sugar inside the water you measure it how good you are if everything is okay and then you want this water out without the grist in it you want to have a like yeah no bits flowing in it and that's why you have the false floor so you have the the real floor which is solid and airtight and then you have the false floor which is kind of a filter where the, the grist gets stuck and the liquids goes through and you can then drain it through one of these holes. The other holes have been welded shut so the visitors don't yeah, fall in, trap themselves or hurt themselves. So usually these holes are open so you drain out your sugary water and the first water is kind of the best because there's the most sugar in it. Then the second water doesn't come in through the, yeah, the filling pipe, but it is being sprinkled on. So it's better spread out already. And um, the next water, you have to raise the temperature to solve more out of it. You don't want to raise the temperature too high immediately because you have the, the enzymes working and they are splitting up starches into sugars and you want to have that going and if you're too high that's not good. So you sprinkle it on, uh, second water is usually around between 70 and maybe 78, something like that. So it's a bit higher than the first one to dissolve more. And yeah, second water also then same process being drained. While you're draining it, you have to turn to get the, the, the grist off and break it off so you can have the filter, otherwise the filter gets stuck and then you're left with a, a solid ground and you can't go in any further. Third water is sprinkled on, very, very hot, usually like 88 to 97, 95, a typical would be 95 and then spray it on, wash it out. It usually has not enough yield for good fermentation, so usually you store it outside and use it as a water uh, for mixing the first uh, mashing. And some distilleries all even do a fourth water and store it as well, but most of the distilleries don't, so three, three is kind of the industry standard. And then you drain the last water, you're left with draft. And the draft is high in protein, low in sugar because you've washed it all out. But the problem is now, how do you get that draft out? You, you could get a guy and shovel it out, but this is not really a good idea. So what you do is you have your rake system and then you can turn your rakes and it kind of forms a solid wall then. And the solid wall goes to the inside and I think the most inner two of them form to the outside and that rakes everything into these big holes here 
And these big holes are kind of the drainage for the draft. And the draft goes in here, is being pumped into a storage, and that draft is usually used for cattle feed or bioenergy or, yeah, even some distilleries use it in their own bioenergy steam production for running their, their stills. So you are out with the, with the draft and then you're pretty much ready for the next mashing. Yeah, that was it with the video. Now you know how a mashing uh, really works and how that mash turn looks from the inside. I was amazed about that. Um, if you found this video interesting, then please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with your friends who might also be interested in making whiskey. Thanks for watching and see you next time.